Friends and Scammers on Samar Island Part 2. Hello everyone, so we've left our friends in the north of Samar Island, and it's time to drive south. Some cool little villages, really nice beach views, again it's a beautiful day for a drive down the south coast. Okay, I'm going to make my first major stop here in a few minutes. I'm going to go to Guiyuan down here in the south. And they have this big weather station where they were tracking Yolanda. And it's basically where Yolanda first hit. And this is a nice beach. I just stopped here. It's cool. Nice area. Beautiful sand. No people, of course. Completely deserted. Like so many of these beaches, man. If you love beaches, you got to come to the Philippines because you can have deserted beaches all day long. Okay, let's take a quick tour of the city. Okay, this old church is famous. I know I'm coming back to see this. So this is the Church of the Immaculate Conception and it was built in 1701. Again, one of these old Spanish churches. This city actually has a long history. It's very near to where Magellan first landed. Magellan was doing the first circumnavigation of the earth and he landed first in Guam and they tried to kill him. Then he came to the Philippines and landed near here and they welcomed him and he ate a lot of bananas and coconuts. But then they killed him eventually in Cebu. Okay, let's drive south. And there are a couple of these little islands that are connected by bridges. So let's check them out. The first island is Calakuan that's connected by this long bridge. And let's see what's there. Well, the first thing I notice is that the water is really blue. And okay, the weather's kind of touch and go here and there, but... The waves are big. Surfers would love this. And the water is super blue. I don't know how well it comes out in video, but it's really blue. More deserted beaches. Okay, we're going to the next tiny little island. So we're going to go visit this church, and then we're going to go to the cave on the way back up. Now apparently, if you light a candle in this church and make a wish, Whatever you wish for will come true. Now, I didn't try it out, but it's famous. In the silence. 
Okay, I'm trying to find this cave, but to be honest, I'm kind of lost. The trail's not very good, and it's not marked, but let's just keep wandering and see what we can find. This must be it. But there aren't any guides. I'm the only person here. Yeah, I don't know where this cave goes, but I'm not going to find out because I'm just a little bit too claustrophobic to be wandering around in caves without a guide. And you'll see the and unlike the kids in Thailand, I have a feeling nobody would even come searching for me if I got lost. In the Okay, it's time to head up the south coast and around the west, and let's see what's over here. Hopefully it's pretty cool. Come and rest your head. Shocker, cool beaches and lovely ocean views. It's just an amazing day. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Oh, wow. Check this out. This is cool. Oh, these remind me of Thailand, these rock formations. I don't know if they're limestone like Thailand, but they're cool. So all of the cheap hotels are booked or running conferences. So I'm stuck staying in a nice hotel. And I was actually a bit disappointed because it was costing me 3,200 pesos. And I thought, what the heck? That's like 66 bucks. 66 bucks to stay in a five-star hotel resort on the beach and this place is amazing And basically deserted. It's like I'm staying here alone. And part of that package, that 66 bucks, is a free boat tour of the ocean and the rock formations that are in front of this hotel. It's pretty cool. I mean, how much would that cost? At least 66 bucks just for the boat ride if you were back in the States. Honestly, I don't really have much to say about this boat tour other than enjoy the views. Oh, and if you're wondering why I blocked out the face of that girl sitting behind me on the boat, I'll explain that later.
It was a really nice day at this resort. I really loved it. And now the sun is setting and it's time to relax and maybe go to sleep early. So the girl on the boat had told me that her grandmother had died a year ago and that it's a tradition in the Philippines to have a big party a year after someone dies. She invited me to the party and she said it would be a nice gesture if I donated some money towards the food and alcohol. And so I gave her 1,500 pesos. And everyone was very welcoming and friendly when I came, but no one mentioned the 1,500 pesos or thanked me in any way. Obviously, these people are having a lot of fun. Obviously, I didn't care if no one thanked me for my donation. But then she asked for another thousand, and I said, why? She said, well, everyone in the party is talking about how cheap you are and how you didn't give more money. So she expects me to believe that these people think I'm really cheap because a complete stranger gave them 1,500 pesos? Okay, scammed again. So... Time to drive north and head off the island, but it's been a really nice trip here on Samar and on to the next adventure! So join me on this adventure. Let's go!